Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this series of Python interview question for DevOps and in today's video we are going to talk about two very interesting questions. Now these questions can look a bit of very easy but sometimes when you forget the formula you do not uh, you do not understand from where should we multiply, where should we divide, how should we apply the board mass rule, you might, you can make a mistake. So these two are very interesting questions for today. So the first one is the simple interest. As you can see on my screen, what exactly is the simple interest? Simple interest formula is given by P into T into R or P into R into T divided by 100, where P is the principal amount, T is the time and R is the rate. We're going to calculate it annually. All right. So the next question would be, compound interest and the compound interest goes by formula to calculate compound interest annually is given by this formula as you can see on my screen. So A is the amount, P is the principal amount, 1 is just a number, R is the rate of interest and T is the time span. So we are going to calculate that in these two programs. So uh, they can also be asked in if you even if you are a fresher or one or two years of experience or if the interviewer just want to check whether your logic is up to the mark or not he can ask you these questions these two questions all right so uh, before moving further in this video if you're new over here and have not subscribed my channel yet kindly do so so without further ado let's dive right into the video okay so as you can see on my screen the first thing that we are going to do is simple interest so first of all check whether we are in the right position or not so this is day seven i think this is correct so uh, as you already know that the formula is P into R into T or P into T into R divided by 100. So we are doing going to do a very basic calculation over here. What exactly we are doing over, we, this is our driver code in which we are just taking a variable simple interest and making a call to a function which we will discuss later. And then we are giving a value over here of principal which is 3000 and then the time is 7. We are doing it annually so it is years and this is 1. Okay, so this is the rate okay so these are the three things that we are going to pass through this now why we are doing it over here because we want to catch a value in simple interest and we are going to print it so as soon as this line runs it is going to make a call to simple interest and it will go over here and it will catch the 3000 value in the principal it will catch time in 7 and then rate is equal to 1 so what is going to do it is going to just print this that whether this is everything is fine or not and it is going to show it on the console just like you can see let me just clear clear this Okay, so it's wrong. CLS. I'm using CMD, which is command prompt over here. You can use anything. That's that's totally your choice. All right. Okay, so as soon as it's going to come over here, it is going to return a value. And this is the formula that I have taken into consideration, which is the exact this formula. Okay, so this is what we are going to do it over here. Now what is going to happen? Sometimes uh, you can change the value over here if you don't want to continue with this. Now what we'll do is we'll just run the program and see how it works. So we'll give zero, hit tab one, and it will print the principal is 3000, which is this. This is perfect. The time is this seven years and the rate of interest is one. So it is going to, what it is going to do, it is going to multiply principal into time into rate. Let's do it uh, that way. So what we can do is, uh, if we do it manually, what is the principal? 3000, so 3000 into Time. What is the time? 7 3 is a 21, which is 21,000. And then divided by uh, what is going to come over here? It is going to come over here 1, which is fine, 21,000 divided by 100. So this is going to make 21,000 and this is 100. So that would be somewhere around 210. And that's what our answer is. So this is a very basic example of simple interest. And uh, before taking a solution or before looking at the solution, just uh, try to make your own program and then see and solutions can be different. I mean, I have written it like this. You can find it different way on the other website or you can find it in some other video, which is different from this. Okay. But the main principle would be same and do not get confused between the spelling of principle. This is P A L not P L A. So that's, there is a difference between them. Okay. So I hope you guys have understood this part. Let's dive right into the compound interest. So the formula for a compound interest, you already know that amount equal to principal and then the bracket will start then one plus rate divided by 100 raised to the power t. So we are going to use an interesting function over here, which is pow or p o w. So how does it work? This function raised to the power of the value, whatever value comes over here. I'm sorry, whatever value will come over here, it will just raise to the power with the with this value and that's the time value okay so now we are doing an interesting thing over here we are taking a float value every time uh, we are going to 
take an input from the user and then that user will provide some input and after that we are going to calculate it okay so our driver code is again this so the compound interest is it's going to make a call to comp int which is this function it is going to pass the three values principal this one rate this one and time this one so these are the three values it is going to ask from the user now once it is asked what will happen it is going to make a call amount equal to principal which is the value multiply which means asterisk sign power which is power whatever comes over here raised to the power time okay so that's this is also we are doing annually over here that's why we are going to do uh, take the care take care of this formula and if it is calculated quarterly or half yearly the value of time changes quarterly into four and then time will change accordingly for uh, six months it's into two something like that you can take take a look at a few programs or uh, a basic it's a basic math problem so you can google about it okay so uh, let's try to run this program and i'll give zero two over here hit tab enter so it is going to ask me the principal so let's enter the principal which is 1200 would be fine i guess and then time let's say two years no it is asking me the rate uh, any random rate would be fine 5.4 which is fine i've taken these values from geeks for geek so props to them and then the time must be two so how the answer is coming 133 this the actual answer would be i guess 1100 uh, 1133 but the compound interest is calculated amount minus principal so what is the amount over here 1200 so 1200 and then in this whatever the answer will come over here will minus principal and principal is 1200 so this is the value of the compound interest okay so if you want to try i can try some other value as well so let me just clear this and now what we will do we'll give the principal as let's say 10000 10000 is fine and then i'm sorry it didn't run the program i'm sorry about that let me just clear this compound interest okay so we are going to give 10000 10000 is fine i guess and then it is asking me the rate so let me give the rate let's say 10.25 enter and then it's going to ask for the time enter and it is 6288 so this is the value so i hope you guys have understood this part uh, these are very basic programs and easy to understand if you want to check the value whatever the answer is coming you can take a pen and paper and then calculate it and then make sure that uh, with, once you calculate the amount you have to subtract principal from it to get the final compound interest answer and that is going to print over here all right so uh, yeah if there is any issue feel free to comment below and we will uh, address that and this is some sign over here this is just for update so if i'll restart it it will just update it so do not worry about that all right so if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one